Hey there, Gilbert! I see that you're about to start cloning baby aliens, am I right? Well, that sounds like a lot of fun! But do you know what that also is? So, before you start, let's take a crash course in lab safety. First, put on whatever protective gear you will need. Plastic goggles are the most basic and necessary and should be used in all investigations if possible. Review your experiment to make sure that it is safe and controlled so you can minimize safety risks as much as possible. Uh-oh, better move that mutation serum away from Fred. We wouldn't want a little shop of horrors incident now, would we? Wash your hands. It's very important to keep them clean and your experiment sterile. Conduct the experiment in an orderly and controlled fashion so that you don't have any flaws in the procedure. This can apply to getting a better and more accurate result as well as staying safe. Make sure that throughout the experiment you have contact and access with an adult and emergency services such as the fire department and the intergalactic police just in case the alien comes out bad. Finish by washing your hands again to make sure that your hands are clean of any toxic goop that may have gotten on your hands during the process. Well, there we go, Gilbert. Now you have a basic understanding of how to stay safe. But there's a bit more we need to talk about if we want to be true alien cloners. The next step is symbols. Do you see these strange signs on your beaker? Well, they are symbols to help warn you about the vial's potential danger and how to treat it properly so you can stay safe while using it. Here they are. The first one is one of the more commonly used ones. If you ever see a triangle with an exclamation mark, that means that the contents are classified under general danger. Now we're getting into more depth. Here, it shows that the contents are corrosive. Definitely put on gloves and closed toe shoes when handling. Yikes! This ball with stuff coming out of it means explosive! So definitely be wearing protective gear all over when handling this. Lastly, it's time to work on preparing for a field experiment and to figure out what to do in case of an accident. Firstly, you want to make sure that you have an appropriate testing area outside of your lab. Also make sure that you have consulted whoever is in charge of that place about permission to perform experiments there. You wouldn't want to test some warheads on old man Higgins' backyard, now would you? Make sure that you have proper first aid for whatever your experiment will pose a danger for. That way, you can take care of the injury yourself until the needed help arrives, in the form of an adult or an ambulance. Make sure that you know how to contact the police and fire department if something does go awry. And that's it! Now you're on your way to clone an alien! Good luck!